Godmorgen, godmorgen til lunen af bundegården. Da, 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 da. Æblehelst, okay. I think prom was the last best day of my life. There was too much food and photo booths and we all danced away to Taylor Swift, yeah. I think prom was the last best day of my life. I am done. Looks great. Now I'm just going to pack my bag. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday morning, and I am walking to work today because Celine is at the mechanic. She will be done at around lunchtime, and then I think I'm gonna go pick her up when I am done with work today. So I feel really happy that today it's not raining. It's the first non-rainy morning in about a week. <laughs> it's really beautiful weather and I'm really enjoying it and I feel happy and motivated. So we have a long, great day ahead of us. An exciting package might come and um, we're just gonna make the best of today. Be positive and yeah, let's go. I've just complimented the weather and now it's so grey. Wow, it's warm in here. I have started shooting some vintage for the webshop today and I've just put on the perfect pair of trousers. Me guys, aren't these pretty perfect for me like i love the colors the fit is really cool they are high-waisted they are only a little bit too big but that's just pretty comfortable actually and i can always put in a small belt if i want to but aren't these just a little bit too perfect for me to sell i am really afraid i will regret it if I sell them. I know that it's not season for thick pants like these right now because it's summer but I think I'm really going to regret it in the winter time. They're so cool. I promise that I'm not going to keep all of the cute outfits because this is also so cute. I love this stripey skirt with the blue blouse and then this white purse and also white tiki earrings from the web shop. Looks really cute. I found this one on the internet that I thought would be really pretty for rings. So I'm going to put these over onto this one and maybe add some more rings. So that this is going to be a layout of some of the rings that we have. I thought that would be a lot cuter. So I'm gonna try to do that now. I got done with the vintage shoot. I think I shot about 15 items and everything looks so beautiful and so lovely. I actually love the outfits that I managed to make today. I just had a lot of fun with listening to music, putting together beautiful outfits and taking pictures. So I'm now going to handle this while I'm listening to some more music. I am done filming a part three of the deceased woman's wardrobe trying outfits and um, I made some myself. I'm done filming and now need to put this away. I think it turned out really well. There were some beautiful outfits. I think I did a pretty good job trying to put one together myself um, but you will see that and yeah now I'm just going to put everything away and have lunch. I think it's about one o'clock. 1 p.m. and um, still waiting for the package. I would have loved if they if they had delivered it by now because I'm gonna be in the back all afternoon and packing orders. And then sometimes I won't be able to hear if somebody is knocking the door, and I would not want to miss this package. I think this might be the first time ever that I've managed to make myself a pasta salad, bring down here with me for lunch. Also, my glass looks disgusting because I've had chocolate milk in there and then I have lipstick on it. Um, but yeah, it's really nice to just sit here, have something to eat. Hey guys, it's been a couple of hours. I've packed orders. I have called DHL about the package that has not showed up. And she lied to me 
Um, she said that a man should have been here trying to deliver the package. But I've been here since 8 o'clock in the morning. There has been nobody here. On top of that, she said that he had left a note in the, my mailbox with where I could pick up the package at some point. Nope. No note in my nail, ma nail box. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I've been waiting for a package that never showed up all day. But all of the packages has been packed. They're ready to get shipped out. My mom's going to come and help me do that. And then I just tried to fix the back of my shoe. I had a hole in there and it hurt a lot on my Achilles tendon. So I've now tried to pack it with tape. I am back in my car again. I have missed this so much. Oh, 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 oh. It's not because I can feel the difference. But it's just nice to know that everything is okay now. I don't have to worry about anything. I know that she's in good shape. It just feels so good to have her back. I have just been sitting here. Was going to edit the new vintage drop, but then I've made a decision. Why would I want to sit here when I can sit at home in my bed and upload these? But before then, I have a package from India that finally arrived and I've also had a meeting with a new intern that's going to begin next week. Oh, this is really damn heavy. It's not even because it's that big, but <laughs> it must be really well stuffed. I have been so excited to get this package that I think we should just stick into it and have a look at some of the goodies before I go home and work. I'm gonna open it from the top. Okay. This is the first time I see the new tags and the cutters are just so off. They're not the right cutters at all. So, um,. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's not the right colors. Beautiful, very light um, pink color. That is so stunning. And if you are not, if you're not been on my channel for a long time, all of these are made out of recycled Indian textile. So they are of, made of silk. Some of them are 100% silk. Some of them is a mix. But they are all made of recycled material, which is so, so lovely. This one is gorgeous. They just all need to be steamed because they're pretty wingly. I'm just wondering if this is a kimono. I think it is. Wow. That is so beautiful. Look at the bottom part. A new long kimonos will soon be up on the webshop. Hopefully when you're watching this, they will be up. And then to something new, guys. Something new that you haven't seen on the webshop before. And it is also made of recycled material. New jackets in different textiles. So this is an example of one of them. I think I'm just going to try it on to see the fit. Pockets. This is the look of it. That's actually really cool. Hmm. I like those. And this one is like so beautiful as well. And then I have our amber skirts that are almost completely sold out. They are now back in stock as well. That was the last thing in this box. I love having my car back so much. But I can feel a migraine coming. At least a headache that's centered right there. So um, I think I'm gonna go out and see if I can find a cola. I know that sugar drinks aren't really 
documented to have any good effect, <laughs> but I really crave a cola, so. It is now 100 years later, or at least four hours. I got home, been watching Friends, putting up vintage, had a pizza, had a cola, had some painkillers because I felt a headache coming, so I wanted to deal with that in the beginning and I did and just been working from my sofa and it's been really nice and cozy so no regrets I don't think I said a lot about the new intern I'm gonna get she's going to start next week on Thursday she's going to be in the boutique eight hours a week and she's gonna help with practical things but also she is very creative she draws beautifully like paints beautifully she should be into sewing so i think we might get started on some local sewing projects maybe like upcycling some vintage pieces that aren't super cool doing some changes to them we have a lot of things that we can get started with and it's going to be so nice having somebody there thursday and saturday every week and somebody to share ideas with it's just gonna be lovely also with all of the new designs that I have coming it's gonna be really cool to have somebody to say what do you think about this and I have this idea do you think that's a bad idea what do you think would work and just to have somebody to talk to it's gonna be um, really good I think so um, that's exciting really I'm gonna go get some water I'm really, I'm really thirsty I, by the way, also got two things in Ikea last night. I got a new sheet in green. I thought that might look cute also if I paint the wall yellow. I thought that would be super cute in the bedroom. And then I also got my new lace curtain that I'm going to hang up in here. I had a headache, so I turned these down. But I thought it would be cute to put them in each corner like I have in my bedroom to make it more beheme. And then put some more plants up in the window to create a nice space. As you can see, I have that in my bedroom. I have those in each corner and I just think it gives or adds some coziness. Mm. That is a dinner that I really like. Tortilla, chili hummus, beans, cabbage, feta, chili nuts and cashew nuts. That's really delicious and I actually think I'm going to watch a film. I'm in that kind of mood. I need something to cheer me up a little bit because there's been a huge discussion on my Instagram tonight. I think I'm gonna be watching Brightest Mates um, because it's fun and easy. If you haven't seen it, it's really, it's a good film. So the grown-up person I am. If you happen to be thinking when did you get that film Elise? It was this Christmas like last Christmas. Such a grown-up. Look how Hi, disgusting Nick. this is. Barbie. <laughs> Welcome to Barbie in the Nutcracker. I don't have time to make my bed. I have to go. <laughs> Good morning guys, I am walking to work because Celine is at the boutique and um, it feels really strange because I don't have my backpack, I don't have my PC or anything so I just feel like I'm out for a walk but I'm actually going to work where my car is and my computer is and my camera is and um, it just feels a little bit strange but it's lovely lovely weather so I'm just enjoying some music and um, yeah just having a walk an early one I'm a little bit tired from last night I did not vlog anything yesterday because I was pretty much working all day like pretty busy and then I went to a concert in the evening I came home at 2 a.m. so I'm really tired today um, but we are gonna go to work and get the rest of the week's tasks done and um, trying to try to enjoy it but I'm really tired I can feel it on my eyes Good morning. Okay, number one on my to-do list 
is to take an outfit picture. Number two is to see what's been sold since last night or actually when I left the boutique yesterday. That is such a strange thing to me, like not having my computer at home. I never go one night without checking how it's gone through the day with sales, if there are any questions on Instagram, all of that jazz. I have been doing the Instagram part, but I always do the webshop thing as well. And I was not able to do that last night. I think it's very healthy for me, but it's just not something I'm used to. So number two is going through to see if there's anything in the boutique that I have to remove before I'm going to open. And then I actually think I'm just going to open when I'm ready um, and not wait until 12 so that if anyone is going to walk by, want to have a look, they can go in because it's only a quarter past 10. So I think I'll be able to open in an hour. So first thing is a picture of my green outfit of the day. I'm very green and very bohem and I thought I wanted a picture. I'm going to change my shoes. I am always wearing these shoes at work or at least it's been like that for a while because they're so comfy to walk around in they don't have anything that's rubbing on my achilles tendon and i actually think i need to search online for more shoes like these because it's the most comfortable option for me right now when with the issues i have with my feet so um, i'm gonna get out of my sneakers because they're not comfortable finally got this um, gel back into my life. I use that as a curl cream. I've just popped some of that in my hair before it's gonna dry completely and it just holds my curls really well and it's it's really nice. It's easy to rinse out. It's not greasy. It's super natural uh, handmade and we sell that on the web shop so you can just pop on to Bohemian Wonders but yeah I'm really happy to have that back in my life. I have just been getting changed into our Viola dress and I want to take some pictures of that because it needs some attention and also I am considering doing a 20% off um, maybe tomorrow maybe today I don't know really when I'll publish that or like do that sale but I just think it deserves some attention it's a really really pretty dress and just looks so cute on and then I also popped in some of these hairpins I love having a pin in each side of my head done with the pictures it's both cold and it's very windy and I've just decided that I'm going to go out and find myself something to eat because I had not I have not really had dinner last night I mean I ended up at a concert directly after work and so I have not had anything proper to eat since yesterday at four o'clock so i'm just gonna quickly hit out see if i can find something to drink and something to eat throughout the day that would be good for me it's time to throw these away because they are not looking good anymore and they're started to drizzle a lot um, but they have looked okay for quite a long time, but they just don't anymore. So I've bought some new flowers, I've bought some blue ones and some pink ones that I'm going to mix, I think, in that vase. As you can see, in the water, they're not really good anymore. So, And then I've bought some cake that's very traditional for the area that I live in, called Bronsvia. I'm going to show you when it's time to eat it, but I was actually standing there like discussing with myself whether I should get some cake or not and I thought I'm gonna treat myself so I'm gonna put it there this time so that more people can see it from the street because it's actually really pretty I was not 100% sure it was gonna look good together but I actually think it looks pretty cute so cheers it's two o'clock I am done with tax work and I'm ready to have my cake I'm just gonna say before I'm gonna show you, this type of cake does not look super charming. Kind of looks a little bit roast, <laughs> but it tastes really good. This is w this is what we call Bonsvier, here where I'm from. It's basically just like bread and then with a bunch of brown sugar on top. And sometimes we put candy on top as well and decorate it or marzipan. But it just, it tastes really good. It's normally a kind of cake that we would use for birthdays, like all the way up through our childhood. This is what's 
served on like birthdays and yeah it's just really good so i'm gonna eat that and continue working of course i've had some really really cute customers today and i've sold the cardigan that hung there before it's been sold so i've put up a new one and it's just been a chill but actually decent saturday so far so i'm feeling good i'm tired but i'm good i am eating my last mawam while i am um, i'm going to take some pictures of some more of our day's jackets they've been really popular over the last couple of days so i'm just going to photograph a few more and it's the very last thing that i have to do um i'm really really tired it's half past four closed half an hour ago just trying to get things done so i can go home and probably get a nap i am done and i've been taking some pictures of these what you might not know is that the jackets are actually like reversible you can use them on both sides it's just that we had the tack put in here and the size and i didn't know they were going to make them reversible for me which is super cool but the problem is just that you can see the sizing and the brand so for the next ones that i'm going to be sent we're going to put the brand somewhere else like the tack and also the sizing so they can be used but for this one as an example i just tried to remove it to see um, how it looked and it's just so beautiful inside like look at this guys so that's gonna be next time they'll all be reversible and of course people can always like remove the tag and the sizing <clears throat> if they buy a jacket and want to use it both ways it is now seven o'clock i've just been yawning that's why um, my eyes are very wet i'm tired I was invited to a barbecue drinking kind of night at a friend's place. She invited me a couple of hours ago. But I'm just so tired. This week has been like I've been working until 11 one night and then pretty much 7 o'clock all of the nights. And I'm just so tired. So I feel like maybe it would be a good idea just to stay at home take off my makeup and just relax with Luna FOMO is the thing like I can feel that it's coming back now when people are starting to do things more again and I can feel like that horrible feeling of missing out on something that could be fun like I don't know what I'm missing out of and that's really uncomfortable they are probably having a lot of fun I can start to feel that's like coming back but I just also feel like I have to know to say no and take a night just like all chill because work is a lot these days like I'm really working hard I am aware that I have to work even harder to make all of this work after what happened last week with like losing a job so I am um, I just need a very quiet night. I know most people won't understand. But being self-employed and having so much responsibility for everything in your life. When it comes to everything like finances, the future, everything is completely up to me. Um, and nothing is secure in any way. It's all so strange so i need it i think i'm gonna do it i think i'm gonna order a pizza watch films and chill mm -hmm. 